Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be drilling a hole in my aquarium at the 10 gallon aquarium that I'm build that I'm going to be using for my new stands. I've done a few already um, but I decided to start recording this part because a lot of people haven't probably drilled people are a lot afraid of it people like to use um, other ways instead of actually drilling in your aquarium but I find it's a lot easier and it looks a lot better. Anyway so what you're going to need is styrofoam. Styrofoam. Um, I have a piece because I ship fish. But I just cut out a little piece from here. And what I did was needing, sorry, I don't need just styrofoam. I need styrofoam, you need a drill. Um, electric is better, but if you have power drill, um, that's fine. Like, wired is, is always better because it stays the same amount of power every time compared to a rechargeable battery that dies eventually. And you need a diamond drill bit. As you can see, these are diamond drill bits. These little, little rocks, little shiny rocks that are helpful for cutting grass. Glass, not grass. Anyway, what I'm using is a half inch size because I have half inch bulkheads. This is what I'm gonna be using as the return for the, this is gonna be the output from the aquarium. I'm gonna be drilling one straight down the middle of the bottom of the tank like so. And yeah, let's get started. Would you, uh, you also gonna need a water source. And of course, I have that right over here. I wet in the aquarium. It's fine. What's it called? What I like to do, make sure I get everything just nice and shiny, nice and wet. Go to this brim. Anyway, once that's done, you're gonna place where you want the hole. So, what I did before this was actually grab a brand new piece. This didn't have a hole before. I placed it on the aquarium and decided where I'm gonna want each one of my tanks to have a hole in. I said smack in the middle. Be towards the left, towards the end. So, like I did. <laughs> That's what I did. Anyway, when you when you're applying, when you're actually drilling a hole into here, you're not putting any type of force or anything or anything like that. All I'm doing is literally just making sure it stays still. I'm not make sure my hand isn't moving, and I'm not applying pressure down because it's glass and it will shatter. What you want to do is let the drill do basically all the work. All you're doing is holding it, the drill, to make sure it stays in place. Make sure it's on right. Um, yeah. But yeah, let's get started. It's gonna be really loud, so I'm probably gonna skip over this part a little bit, but it should take you about four minutes, and you don't wanna stay doing it all the time. Take a break, go again, take a break, go again. You wanna make sure that the hole stays wet where you're drilling, because once it gets dry, you can end up cracking it. Anyway, um, yeah. One, two, and three. And as you can hear that part, that's, what, that's the first scratch is going into the aquarium. Um, protected, so you want to wear gloves. Um, you are working with glass, so you want to use gloves and eyewear protection. These are not, I can't find where my actual glasses are, so I'm going to just use some glasses that I use for a Halloween costume. And yeah, let's get started. Let's go back to it. Um, since there's nothing under this and I'm doing the one on the aquarium I forgot to mention um, since I'm doing it at the bottom and there's no glass under it you have to be careful because if there was glass under it the glass that when it falls the glass hit the impact from the scrap glass to your actual aquarium will more than likely crack it so you want to make sure there's nothing there and now we have a pretty good hole um, let's put that to the side let's get rid of all this water and as you can see have a nice decent hole in there um 
FYI, this is gonna be very sharp, so don't be touching it with your bare skin. But now you can, of course, attach your bulkhead. If I were to do so now, um, which I'm not gonna do yet because I'm still figuring out the location of where I'm gonna place the tank, but it's very simple after that. You just place it in and you'll be good to go. I actually bought these on Amazon. I'm gonna put an affiliate link to it because I thought it was really cheap. Um, but yeah, this is what you'll see after. This is what you get after. See how sometimes it chips off? It's not always the best. I bought these bulkheads off uh, Timu, a web online website. It's pretty much in the news right now for something. For stealing information and stuff like that. But that's what I did. I've done so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the same bulkhead. Um, I've only done two 20-gallon aquariums. This is a 10-gallon, by the way. But I've done two... 20 gallon highs i still have another eight more to do <laughs> no six more to do of the 20 gallon highs and as for the 10 gallons i just need one more I need to find a new tank because i cracked the other one while moving but it's fine i have to buy a tank, I have to buy a tank. anyway i'm going to be separating these videos in parts because i don't want it just to be the one huge long video so this is me drilling the aquariums um what's it called again i'll put all the information where you can get um, the diamond drill bits and the bulkheads and the aquariums. I mean, right now Peck was having a sale, that's why I actually ended up buying all of these aquariums. Let's see if I can show you that. As you can see here, I have all these aquariums I just drilled. Some of these are old, some of these are new. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six new, three used, but it's fine. Anyway, 